You seen that title, you seen that thumbnail. We about to do Dr. Pepper ribs and we gonna put them in a slow cooker. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, so here are the greens. Let's go ahead and get them knocked out the way. Right here we have our ribs and I'm using St. Louis spare ribs. Now guys, if you like baby backs, you can use baby backs. You can use country style ribs, whatever works for you. We have some barbecue sauce. We got some dried minced onions here. The star of the show, which is our Dr. Pepper. We got some mustard, some garlic powder, some of that W sauce, or you like to call it Worcestershire sauce. We have some liquid smoke, brown sugar, salt, and pepper. So all these are the ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to get started, we're gonna take our mustard. And I like to use mustard as a binder on my ribs. And the only thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush it. And what this does, it's, it helps the seasoning adhere to the meat while it's cooking. And we're just gonna brush it on here like that. Now, some people use olive oil. You can use olive oil, but I like the mustard. The mustard adds a little bit more flavor to it. All right, and we're gonna get these turned over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now there's no particular amount of mustard, you know, that you need for this uh, step here. Just as much as you need. Looks like I'm using with this, these ribs, it looks like I'm using about around a half a cup. All right, so now that we have our mustard on here, we're gonna add our brown sugar. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pat this down on here. And again, same with the brown sugar, no specific amount. I'm using about a half a cup. I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now that we have our brown sugar on our ribs, now we're gonna start adding our dry seasoning. So right here we have our garlic powder here and all I'm gonna do is add our black pepper and our kosher salt, kosher salt. And we're just gonna get that mixed up like that. And we're gonna start adding that to our ribs. And guys, if you have any uh, barbecue rub that you wanna use, you don't necessarily have to season it with what I'm seasoning with, but this is what I'm using. All right, so it's looking good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and move over to our crock pot so we can go ahead and get started. All right, so now that we're at our crock pot, I've already greased our crock pot here at the bottom and around the side. I'm going to start placing our ribs in here. And guys, make sure, I should have said this, but you guys know, cut your ribs up to make sure they all fit into the crock pot. Of course, these are gonna fit nicely in here, just like that. So next, we're gonna take our dried onions and we're just gonna sprinkle them here. So I'm under there, want that flavor everywhere like that take our liquid smoke add that along with our w sauce or worcestershire or however you call it put that in there like that and guys we're going to take our barbecue sauce and we're just going to drizzle it over here like this and for the start of the show i'm going to pour our dr pepper in here and i'm going to use about a cup and a half all right, so now that we have our Dr. Pepper in there, I'm gonna do one more thing. We're gonna add some butter right here. You know, everything is, is good or better with butter. Let's go add our butter down there. Now we're gonna get this baby covered up. We're gonna set the high on four hours or if you wanna do it on low for six to eight hours, you could do that. But, but since I don't have them in the ribs, I'm gonna do mine on high for four hours and that's gonna be good enough. All right, see you guys in four hours. All right, so we're four hours in and we are good, guys. No need to check on it. We know that we are good. Let's take a look. Oh, buddy, take a look at that. Let me zoom in. So let's go ahead and get these out the crock pot over to our cutting board. And what I'm gonna do now for this extra step, now guys, if you wanna eat them like this, feel free to do so. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush this with a little bit more of that, with some more barbecue sauce. And I like to do this because I like my barbecue or my ribs in barbecue sauce. Well, I'm going to just brush it in 
like this. I'm gonna cook this sauce into the meat, which that's how we do it down south. That's how we eat our barbecue. You know, I go someplace, man, they give you grilled meat with some barbecue sauce on the side. Talk about they real. Man, them ain't real, them grilled, that's grilled meat, boy. Knock it off. All right, I've already preheated the oven on broil to 400 degrees, and I'm just gonna stick this in here for about three minutes, guys. You don't wanna overdo it, just about three minutes, but keep an eye on it, depending on how hot your oven is, all right? All right, so when I went back on our cutting board, I let them sit in there for three minutes to let that sauce kind of bake into it. So now we're gonna move over to our cutting board, to our final presentation, so we can get into quality control. And there you have it, slow cooker Dr. Pepper ribs. Guys, let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section below. Also, I'm gonna leave the measurements and ingredients in the video description below so you guys can check out. And before we head into quality control, let's cut into it. Let's see how tender these babies are. And with that being said, let's head over to quality control. All right, so we're back in here for quality control, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how country I am. I put these babies on a paper plate, just like if we was at the cookout. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it in Alabama, in the South, you dig me? Now I know some people say, why you got that on a paper plate? Shut up, here's my video. Let's try this baby out, oh man. Oh, it's just, just pull right off. Mm. Mm. I was just about to lick my finger. I said, man, let me not do that. Because I'm going to do somebody else. Like, Why are you licking the finger on camera? Shut up. Told you in my video. Oh, this is good. The milk's right in your mouth. Let me tell you something. I'm not a fan of crock pot ribs. Not that they're bad, but as I told you, I'm from the South. Ribs, the meat don't supposed to just fall off the bone on ribs, man. I know people say, oh, they just fall off the bone. No, no, young Skywalker. The meat on ribs, they don't supposed to fall off. You're supposed to have some type of effort to pull them off. Nothing wrong with them falling off the bone, but they're not ribs. And anybody from the South know what I'm talking about. This is definitely good. I like the flavor. And just because these ribs are so good, I'm about to start licking my fingers, so I'm going to go ahead and get off camera. But until the end, guys, remember, I'm your cook, Spinelli. Y'all already know. All wings, everything. And remember, I'm not a chef. I just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace.